All right. Now let's go ahead create a account on AWS. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. What you can do here, you can write there Amazon Web Services. All right. So this Amazon Web Services is also known as AWS. In short, we are going to create an account at AWS. And the good thing is that it gives us one year of free access to most of its services. Although during the free access of its services, uh, the, the performance of those services are quite limited. But uh, overall, we will be able to uh, work with the AWS and we will be also able to uh, we will be also able to explore most of its services in free. So the first of all, you need to go ahead and create an AWS account. Click on there. Once you click on there, it will lead you here a new page. All right. So there it says that this is one year free access. All right. So in the one year free access, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fill here my email address info at the rate kgptalkie.com all right and uh, here i'm gonna give some password for my account all right so you can choose any of your password all right so it is says that it doesn't meet it's a uh, overall uh, the password requirement so I need to set here some uh, some strong password let me think about it some strong password here so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna set here uh, <coughs> sorry a strong password here all right perfect and uh, the account name which I'm going to use here, I'm going to say that KGP Talky. All right. Now let's go ahead and create it here. I'm going to save this my password so that later I can use it. And then it asks about the personal. Okay. It, uh, it asks about the account type information. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just fill some uh, the random phone number let me think about it here and uh, okay so six all right so this is random mobile number and uh, after this what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna give the country uh, where this is being uh, created and there i'm gonna give here let's say the india and uh, i'm gonna just give some address here india one two three and uh, then their city i'm also gonna give here india and state let's say i'm gonna give here a delhi and the postal code in delhi in india it's a six digit postal code so i'm gonna just fill here some six digit postal code all right and uh, finally i'm gonna create this account all right so once it comes to this um this web page then you need to fill your credit and debit card number here and uh, give your card holders name here and uh, after that what you need to do after that uh, uh, you need to click on verify and add so of course i'm not gonna show my credit and debit card number so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna stop this video i'll enter and uh, after that i'll click on verify and add then I'll show you what is the next web page which you will get. In meantime, you can pause this video and you can enter your credit or debit card number and then you can continue with this video. All right, so it took a while to complete its authorization and account creation. Once your account is created, you will get this email at your email from AWS that your account has been created. Now you can visit your account, either click on free tier or account access. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on free tier and this free tier, you will get all these information about the free tier. What are the, uh, what are the services from the AWS, which is available in free? It says that we have EC2 compute for 750 hours per month. 
so if it says that 750 hour per month it means that 750 hours per month means divided by 30 so it says that the 24 uh, 25 hours per day but if it is if it is a 31 days then it's 24 hour then you might be wondering that if a day is only a 24 hour then how it can be for a 25 hour so the 25 hour means overall the 25 hour of ec2 instances if you create a two instance that's mean it is running on the double rate that's mean in one day you can consume a 48 hours all right perfect so after that you have uh, like s3 storage database access Amazon DynamoDB and machine learning SageMaker, all these things are available. So I'm not gonna on on uh, I'm not gonna explain all of these services on the AWS. Our concern is to create an account for EC2 instance. You can click on there, then it will lead you to a new web page. Then click on sign into a console here. As you know. All right, so if it leads you to sign in page, then you can simply type your account name and the password, then it will, all right, so it will open access for your EC2 instances. All right, so once you reach to this web page, now you are ready to create a new EC2 instance. So in the next lesson, I'll show you how you can launch a EC2 instance and then how you can get connected with EC2 from your Windows computer. Alright, so I'll see you in next lesson.